Hello, everybody. This is Sister's Intuition. My name is Shelly. Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well, doing great. I want to thank each and every one of you that's been uh, getting my channel growing. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes. I appreciate y'all so, so much. God bless you on your journey, and God bless you and your family. Okay, everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. If anybody would like to donate to the channel or get a personal reading, I have a number and an email down there. If you can't contact me on the email, call me directly if you'd like to get a read or donate either one there is a um, PayPal down there where you can make all payments and donations please don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up like to share subscribe like you all have been doing thank you very much um, you can follow me on Facebook Shelly Evans I go live there each and every day you can go over there and hit the follow button and I give everybody a heads up before I go live so if you like to catch me live you can do so by doing that and you can catch me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. So we're going to be doing the water sign for the weekend. See what kind of energy comes up. Um, so if you have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, that could be messages in this for you. However, baby, y'all know the drill. This is general. It's not going to resonate with each and every water sign. Take what resonates. Leave out the rest, okay? So let's just jump into it and see what we got. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we have Cancer. Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A weekend message for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend. You are a bright energy. Color uplifts you. So color could make you, you know, you could be attracted to colors or color just uh, lights your, lightens your day by brightening your mood. And on the bottom is telling you to let go of the fixed plans. So... It says allow for uh, spontaneity and growth. So let go of the fixed plans. That ain't going to be happening. There's going to be a lot of growth coming out of it. But the fixed plan, throw it out the window, baby. It's spirit's plan, baby, not ours, okay? It is what it is, right? All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. For the weekend message. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend. All right, we have financial flow, so finances could be opening up for you. We have uh, stand your ground, baby. Affirm your boundaries. Don't let anybody run over you and don't lower your standards. Affirm them clear boundaries. All right, miracle healing and inner power and strength. So you could be doing some healing. Or healing work, take it as it resonates. And it says the inner power strength. You're stronger than you realize. You got more strength and inner power than you realize, right? So they're letting you know that. Alright, let's see. Let's do the romance angels. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. A weekend message for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Thank you. Alright, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So, yeah, pay attention to the red flags, you know, quit trying to go, you know, like you ain't seeing shit and turn a, a blind eye, baby, you need to pay attention, okay? And it says chemistry and it is safe for you to love. So, you know, you could be feeling some type of chemistry towards somebody, you could feel like you're drawn to them, and, uh, you know, there's a strong magnetic attraction, right? And it says it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So you could have been dealing with somebody who had some red flags. You know, it could have hurt you because it did say healing. Um, but with that being said, you know, Spirit is wanting you to heal, you know, because they're wanting you to open back up, letting you know it's safe to love because not everybody's the same asshole that has hurt you. And, um, you know, it is safe for you to open it up, open up to somebody else. But, you know, you just got to pay attention to the red flags. If somebody throws you something that's a red flag, pay attention to it. That's it, you know. But you can't go in or along in your life just blocking yourself off to everybody because you've been hurt. You know, no, you pay attention to the red flags, and if you see them, cut it loose, right? All right, Cancer, Posse, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend energy. Cancer, Posse, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend energy. All right, we have the butterfly, so there's a change for the better. Cancer, Posse, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend. Damn, there's fucking cards going everywhere. Okay. Where'd that go? 
I think we're going to forget about that card and I'll find it later. <laughs> I know it fell, so anyhow, we'll find it later. Okay, well, we have the uh, wreath. So there could be some uh, some, some sorrow over a loss. So you could be in the Five of Cups energy, you know, feeling very emotional. You know, or this could be like a, a loss of a relationship. Or this could be a physical loss. And if this is a physical loss, I um, uh, send you my condolences. And prayers for your family. Hmm. Sorry, my ribs is hurting. I fell earlier and I brought my ribs. So, hey, yeah. Anyhow, Beetle, there is good fortune coming. We have the pig, and it says, Beware of greed. We have the man. You got a dealings, a relationship with a man. You have the sunrise. So, new creative ideas, new ventures, and a fresh start. So, you could be having some new creative ideas when it comes to a business. Uh, and you could be going, looking at different avenues um, about doing so. And there's a fresh start, okay? And we have the peacock. Beware of great pride. We have the turkey. Somebody acting stupid. Someone's behaving stupidly. Hmm? Acting a damn fool. We have the fan. So there's romance, celebration, or a party. We have the skull. We got some hidden secrets that can harm you. Somebody could be hiding some secrets they're trying to harm you. Take it as it resonates. We got the horse. There's a short journey. We got the pen. There's a new job or career. And we have the staff. You will be taken care of in time and uh, difficult times, okay? That's aggravating me about that car. It's like a damn disappeared or something. Anyhow. So we done those, those, let's do these. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Boy, Leo's wanting to come out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. That's a lot. Okay. We have Venus on the bottom. So. So it says, Charm, Art, and Beauty are the way to enjoy and cherish. So you need to enjoy the beauty and cherish, you, you know, whatever art, creative art you're into, you need to understand and enjoy and cherish uh, what it is, okay? Then we have Aquarius. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius or have Aquarius highly expected in your chart. You know, ooh. I don't even know what that is. Resulting from the incent incentricity of the discoveries, genius. Okay, there could be some experiments going on here. And you could be trying to look up some different ways or figure out some different ways and how to experiment with this shit. But there is some shit that's happening from the result of that. Ooh. We have Aries here. You could be dealing with the Aries or have Aries in your chart. You know, you, you're dealing with somebody or you are doing it your own way. And you're using your willpower to do it. And it's what you know and what you think about. So you could be using your intuition there. You have Pluto. Do or die. It's a must. Do or die. You must. So somebody's trying to resurrect. Somebody's trying to correct something that they've done. <laughs> resurrect. Bring something back up from the dead. Uh, yeah. Somebody's trying, to, try, somebody's trying to resurrect. Trying to fix something. And it's a do or die situation and you must get to the heart of it, resurrect it. And we have Sagittarius. So, so this is resulting from the understanding of the wisdom and insights and understanding. So you could have wisdom, you could be intuitive, you could have insights or understanding. This could be you or who you're dealing with. Sagittarius, or have it highly aspected in your chart. So somebody's got insights. They understand. They're intuitive. It could be psychic. 
they got a lot of wisdom. And, you know, there's, a, there's shit that's happening from the result of that. So they're doing some shit here, okay? But they got some wisdom and some insight. So they, I think this is somebody's intuitive or psychic. I'm going to take it to that. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. Yep, Queen Rising. Okay. You could have had somebody that had you in a love triangle, a third party. Okay. So, you know, there's multiple lovers, choices, okay. You know, this person is played out. They can't play with you no damn more. Okay? They could be bullying you, stalking you, cyberbullying you on the internet, bothering you. But you're moving on to the next. <laughs> Thank you, right? Uh, this person is getting a bad reputation. They could be wanting to travel towards you. <clears throat> All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the, this weekend. Yeah, there could be some child neglect going on. It's not going to have bad parenting or just neglecting her children or your children hates this person or this parent, okay? Whatever, take it as it resonates. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for this weekend. Yeah, you got a motherfucker sitting back holding a grudge. They want to come in and be a drama starter, start all kinds of shit. They're fucking tripping on you, Spirit says, because you're uninterested in them. And Spirit says they ain't fucking shit. And why? Because they got bad karma and their ass is broke. And they got family issues. So now they're all in their head and overanalyzing, baby. Don't think too hard, baby. <laughs> bad karma gonna get you. Boy, it looks spooky as a motherfucker. Bad karma, look. Ain't them bitches. Well, I hate to see them bitches and some bad karma. <laughs> damn. I got too sorry. I can't help but laugh. But damn, that's... I hate to see some bitches like that, man. Mm. All right. <laughs> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Weekend energy for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Alright, you've been dealing with a false ass twin. This may have been a false twin flame, but I don't, I don't, I don't look at it really. Twin flame to me is runner chaser. You know, this is where you learn all your lessons and grow from, right? You know, this has been a fake ass person, okay? They could be going around saying a lot of critical ass shit. You know, being very um, nasty shit they're saying. And they're being ignored. You're ignoring them. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise of Venus for this weekend. Yeah, this fucking person's a slacker. They don't want to put in the work. You know, um, they avoid doing the work and they want to take shortcuts anywhere they can. They could be going through a divorce or the ending of a relationship. This could be a divine union. It's a sacred union, souls, divinely guided, connected, coming together. Okay, so you could be getting out of a relationship, with, divorced with somebody, and you could have a divine union coming in. So you could have been dealing with somebody that was fake before, and now Spirit's saying you're getting rid of this person that was fake, and now you got a divine union coming in, okay? Let's see what else we got here. We have off the grid. So this person could have ghosted you or off the grid. You could be in hermit mode. Whatever be the case, the uh, 10th house. This situation involves somebody's ambitions, their motives. Be careful, people's motives. Their rank in society, their achievements, their accolades, and their social class. So somebody could be going after their ambitions, starting their business. You know, their rank in society, by God, they're, you know, they're going higher up. And the social class could be social media, I don't know, but somebody's talking some good shit about you. But they could be stressed around work, around finances. And you out here chilling. <laughs> you enjoying your life. You at peace. You know? So, yeah. This person could be at a distance from you. And they could be stalking you, watching what you're doing routinely, your job or whatever, and they, they're intimidated by you. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Sorry, y'all. My ribs hurting. All right. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the weekend. Oh, shit. That's way too many. All right, right here is the false person. This person is fake. The eight is on that card. So this person just wants power and control. This could be an occupation in the business that you're starting. You know, um, there's way too many cards. Let me see what I got here. Yeah, you could. this person could have legal issues, judication. Could be like a juvenile court or something. Okay. Let's see what we got. There's change definitely coming. 
Yeah, Distant Horizon. You could, okay. Too many cards. Basically, what I'm getting is this person could have some legal issues. Their ass could be in poverty. They could have lost a job. You know, um, they're just not doing too good. And they just stress the hell out about it. You know, this man is thinking about this woman. He's thinking about you, but baby, you're the mature woman. You wised up and you're taking another path, okay? You know, uh, you're working towards your occupation and your business, whatever you're starting. And, you know, there's change coming. It's bringing you unexpected money, okay? You could have, you, you know, you could have children. You could have a child with this person. You could be dealing with legal issues with a child of this person you're dealing with does. Here in the distant horizon, by God, you're going to be well-known the, within the community or you could be working with the community. And, you know, you're going to be the privileged lady. And here they could be sending you in a message of concern. They could be concerned because their ass is broke. They ain't got no money. They're not stressed out around job and they could have some legal issues. And they could be wanting to come in and start a courtship with you. Why? Because, baby, you stable. You're working towards your success. <laughs> Hell, why else? Pay attention to the red flags, it said, though. All right, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for this weekend. What is the message? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio for this weekend. Thank you. The Tower. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sign of Cancer. Yeah, they could have hidden some shit from you. This person could have hidden some shit from you. They could have given you an illusion. Okay, but uh, they got a lot of fear going on right now because the tower's here, okay? Their shit is coming down. <laughs> this could be somebody that you got a family with, or this could be somebody that's got a family. That shit's coming to an end. They could have hid that they had a family from you. They could have hid that they had children from you. Because this is what was hidden, kept secret, and now the tower, somebody's realized this shit. So now they're ending this shit. Ten of swords, because they feel like they've been a bit back down. Backstabbed and betrayed in the motherfucking back, okay? <laughs> But you put an end to this difficult situation, right? 10 10, right in a row. That's over. You know, now somebody's very emotional, Six of Cups. Uh, this is somebody from your past. They're doing a lot of thinking. They're doing a lot of shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You know, they're focusing on this loss. There was betrayal here. You know, you got this clarity you was looking for. It got illuminated to you, right? Clarify the moon and the tower for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yep, third party. Yep, the devil, Capricorn. Could have been a Capricorn. This is not very toxic. Very fucking toxic. You know, this could be somebody that had a third party. They started a new relationship with a third party. Okay? And, you know, Ace of Cups in love, right? But this person could have been very toxic. Okay? Could have been a Capricorn. This car yeah. Clarify the Three of Cups and the Fool for Cancer, Posse, Scorpio, Summon, Rise of Venus. Thank you. The Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody went and had a new start with somebody. Ace of Pentacles. They had you in a third party. Okay, well, I like this. Anyhow, the fool, you know, you starting off, you, this could be somebody going to get celebrated too. Three of Cups, celebration. Okay, Ten of Pentacles, ten, 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 three tens in a row. Hmm, damn. All right, you know, whoever this is, you are starting a new start, Ten of Pentacles. You could be working towards your business, for your family, for your success. Could be an inheritance. Could be the Queen of Wands or dealing with the Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You could have this in your chart. You know, somebody's not very vibrant, glowing, you know, speaking her mind, exerting herself, very sure about herself. Okay? We got the motherfucking magician. This person is a magician. They are a manifester. This could be somebody, the high priest, somebody's very psychic, very intuitive, sign of Pisces. And we got the Wheel and the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom. So I'm going to tell you what, somebody is, the will is in their favor. Whatever they're manifesting, baby, they manifest a nine of pentacles. They've done this shit on their own. They didn't need anybody. You know, they started believing in themselves. They started getting on a higher vibration, getting into their spirituality. And this is a turning point in their life, baby, because they out here magician, manifesting shit. Ace of pentacles, a new start. Getting on solid foundations. Prosperity, abundance, and by God, queen of swords, cutting out the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you cutting them out. Clarify the magician, the will, and the nine of pentacles for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Clarify the magician and the will for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Bullshit. Something flew out in reverse. Yeah, somebody done made a bad judgment call. They could have went to somebody 
that they had the children with, empress in reverse, this is somebody don't take care of themselves, that liar, you know, they don't, they don't nurture, they're not nurturing, they're not giving, they're just selfish as fuck. Somebody made a bad judgment call. And, and you know, whoever the other person is, but I got their wishes to get fulfilled. <laughs> Six of Wands. Yeah, so clarify the Empress and the Judgment in reverse for Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody went and started some other kind of business or romantic proposal here, and somebody could have proposed to somebody else. Somebody they got kids with, the Empress. Somebody could have had a pregnancy here. Judgment, somebody made a bad decision. Now somebody's confused. Eight of Swords going through a mental conflict, baby, because they got five of Pentacles. They feeling left out in the cold and having hardship, hard times, and finances and shit. Yeah. You could be block you're blocking this person off. <laughs> clarify the Nine of Pentacles. What's the cl clarify the Queen of Wands? Clarify the Queen of Wands for mm. Justice. Yeah, Hierophant, Taurus. Yeah, spiritual beliefs, wisdom. This could be legal issues, justice. Somebody could be getting some karma, some legal issues. Could be a Libra. Somebody is, you know, somebody could be getting some karma here because of what they've done. They, because they could be getting a divorce here. There could be a divorce going on. Could be getting divorced from somebody here they got kids with. Now somebody's wanting to come towards you. Mm-hmm. Because I have the, the chariot. So, we got justice here. We got the nine of wands, page of cups, the devil. Yeah, somebody's wanting to uh, come in and give you some kind of, uh, yeah, they're coming after, they're coming towards you, queen of wands. So, whoever this queen of wands is, this person is wanting to come towards you. It could be a Libra. Uh, but they get some kind of karma, some kind of justice. You know, they're at a crossroads now. You know, they're they trying to plan something. They could be trying to travel towards you, you know, uh, or this could be you moving forward, you know. Seven of Wands. Stand your ground, baby, with this person. You know, protect yourself. You know, somebody could be trying to come in and try to get, overcome some kind of uh, challenges because they made a bad motherfucking uh, decision choice. They could have made a decision with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this could be you. You know, your somebody's very nurturing, very stable, very social, you know. Somebody made a choice. They made a choice and they made the wrong choice and now they got bad karma. Somebody could be having some legal issues too. So whoever, they made the wrong choice. They done made somebody's done made them broke and losing money. Now they're confused on what they're going to do because they ain't got no power. What's the advice? What's the advice? Yeah, somebody's feeling lonely, Spirit says. Because that just flipped that out and come in my other deck so I'm going to take it. But anyhow, what's the advice for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for this weekend? Yeah, there's some kind of clarity here that somebody's wanting. Could be about a Leo. Okay. Yeah, somebody's starting their own business, by God. Somebody's wanting some kind of truth and clarity. There's something that's unclear. Somebody's not able to take action. Okay. This right here is the... Hmm, there could have been a pregnancy anyhow. The world, the empress. Somebody has got growth. Growth and expansion going on. The Leo. Somebody's very strong. Okay. This is somebody from your past. Somebody's starting... And they're growing. They're starting something new. Empress, there's growth and expansion in it. Okay? And, you know, the Five of Cups. Somebody's emotional because they made the wrong choice. Mm-hmm. Could have made the wrong choice with a Leo. Let's get some angel answers. I'm going to cut this on out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for this weekend. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus for this weekend. Thank you. Yep. Um, we got compromise, so there could be dealing with some legal shit. Somebody's wanting to compromise here. Um, within the next few months, okay, there could be a compromise in court. You could be having to ask for help from others. Or somebody could be calling you asking for help within the next few weeks. And ask your angels. Some, you know, some of y'all need to sit down and meditate and get clear-minded here. Uh, whatever's happening, though, there'll be a peaceful resolution. Um, but, yeah. If you're dealing with the legal system, there'll be a compromise happen, okay? Might not be happy, but, you know, agree to disagree nonetheless, all right? So, I hope that this message helps you. For whatever reason, if it don't, check your signs, check your placements, okay? Don't forget to give me a big fat thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. 
Follow me on Facebook if you want to catch me live. Shelly Evans, you can follow me on TikTok, Sisters Intuition. If anybody like to get a personal read or donate to the channel, there is links down there. If you can't get a hold of me on my email, if you'd like to get a read, contact me directly on my phone number. It's listed below. And uh, I want to thank you all. If you like, share, subscribe one more time. I just want to let you know I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I'll send you peace, love, and light, and I'll see you next time. God bless you all. Bye.